headed out to Craighead this morning. If we can uh, dodge the raindrops. There's a lot of rain in the area this morning, but that's usually good for fishing. So we're going to see what we can find. It's a beautiful ride out here this morning. It always is pretty coming from my house to Craighead. It's only about a six minute ride. Um, so let's see what we can find. Let's get after them. All right, so I'm here and I'm already here in Thunder. Pulled into Access 3 over here at Craighead Forest Park, the lake. And I just want to see real quick what's going on in my neck of the woods. I know it's north of us. It's kind of blowing up from the south. But it's really hard to say. Yeah, see, it's kind—it's of, almost—it's almost acting like a hurricane. It's got that swirl pattern to it. Come on now, come on back in view. Are you not going to show me what you're doing? How about there we go? This thing's acting a little cattywampus this morning. There we go. Now, looks like everything. Well, there's a couple little things coming in from the south right there so we've got I'm here obviously hang on a second good lord could you be any slower there we go shows where I am and this stuff is to the south that stuff's down around Harrisburg, though. Okay, let me do one more thing. Pull up the Spotter Network's radar scope. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to our north. Let me get a tracking on me. All right, several... Eh, the one at Harrisburg, how big is that? It's not showing me. It's a single cell, possible half inch hail. This next one looks a little bit bigger. Well, I'll uh, I'll stay close to the Jeep. Let's uh let's try and catch a few. like we've got quite a few turtles out this morning starting to sprinkle a little bit I don't know for sure if I remembered my um, my waterproof case for this I might have it with me I'm hoping I have it with me really suck if I don't have it with me because I have an idea I'm gonna get a little bit of rain on me this morning Just have to be super mindful holding this fishing pole, even though it's not metal. Just give you guys a time check. It's uh, about quarter after seven. It's Thursday morning. Today's date is May 17th, 2018. We're out here at Craighead Forest Park. And we have got some storms in the area. Should have brought the Nikon and filmed out here. This would be a great place to watch clouds set up. Where are these fish this morning, y'all? There's a bass right there. Oh, dang. That's got to be a carp. All right. I guess I need to be smart here and think about getting into this Jeep riding this storm out, folks. 
Dang it. Is that a carp? Bass? Carp? What the hell is it? Is it feeding? What in the world? Yeah, this is when crazy takes over because I should be in the Jeep right now. You can do that one more cast, just one more. Just one more cast. This can't be a bass, this has got to be a carp. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. They're waiting out the storm just like me. You're kidding me. There we go. Not bad. Little bass. Oh, little catfish. <laughs> All right, there's a little catfish. Nice little catfish. Well, you might make a Sammy, but we're in the practice of letting y'all go today. Get down. Don't get me. Pretty little cat. You kitty kitty. This off you. Come on, let go of it. There we go. Show you off. Very cute. Let it go. See ya. <laughs> so pretty back here. Man, I love this park. In the spring. Man, you just can't beat it. I really want 
to see what's in the back of this pocket here. See a lot of forage fish. A lot. Might be some beds back here too. Wow, this is gorgeous. Seriously, this is like being in an aquarium. These bass are all laid up on the beds, you guys. We just stop and take the time and look at this stuff. How cool is this? I mean, how cool is this? This is right in your own backyard, folks. Craighead Forest Park. Maybe these are all crappie and bluegill beds because bass really aren't on one particular bed. I think they're just raiding the, the panfish beds. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. See those squirrels? Dang, what is it? Going that way. Don't know if we can get it without getting snagged, folks. I'm gonna give a shot. There we go. It's a bass. That's a cute little guy. Barely hooked. Turning out to be a fun morning. Now I just blew the spot out for a second, but we're gonna stand still. I'm good with that. I think there's some bigger than you. Just a little pip squeak, a little squeaker. Still beautiful, healthy. Man, these fish are healthy here this year. That's awesome. All right, go get bigger. <laughs> Just like drop shotting you guys, without the bottom weight. Another nice little bass. Easy bud, easy. Seriously. And a quick release. There it goes. So you have to admit, it's awesome back here. 
Glad I have long pants on though. So there's lots of poison ivy. There's also beautiful stuff like that. What do we got here? Another little bass? It's another little bass. Oh, quick reliefs. See ya. Never, never touched it. <laughs> Ooh, we it is humid out here. Do I have it? I do. I have its twin cousin. Still a cute little fella. Support its jaw. Don't keep it out of the water too long. You're a pretty little guy. Look at those eyes. How pretty is that? All right, see ya. Might have to stand here and play whack-a-mole for a minute. I don't care that they're dinks. I really don't, folks. It's just fun. I don't expect to catch giants when I come here. But these little knuckleheads will get after them and get after them and get after them. And occasionally, you get lucky you get a decent bass. Now there was something fairly sizable that came off of that log out there. I saw a roll. But again, could have been a carp. Who knows? But we'll try and get as much distance out to that as we can. Something's trying to have a little fun with that. Oh! <laughs> Pulled it right out of his mouth. That's funny. This is a little sunfish, you guys. I'm get right back in after it, though. Give it a second chance. Give it a chance to win the prize. Can always tell the sunfish. Well, that's a little bass, too. I was going to say, it's rat a tat tat and just like a bluegill would. Uh uh uh. Nope. Nope. Settle down. Stop it. Mm uh -uh. Easy as pie. Nothing harmed, nothing fouled. No blood. And you're ready to go get bigger. Go get big now. There's that breeze again. Breeze feels good. It's so humid out here. Breeze is from behind me, but the clouds are coming at me. That's that cross current they talk about so much in the deep south and the Midwest. Talking about tornadoes. And turtles waving at me. Hey. Stretching his legs. Oh lordy, here come the school buses. That's about to get loud. That means. I'm about to make my exit, folks. Not that I don't love kids, I do. I just want to be able to get through a filming session at my fun little local lake. And then just let the kids take over. Let them have themselves a time. Hopefully they don't get caught out in this rain today. But odds aren't looking real good. 
Come on, fish. And this is the direction the phone is pointed in. And we're looking at that right there. That's pretty cool. See, your buddy's still sleeping. Don't back talk me. Seriously. You have to have the last word? Is that how this works? Really? <laughs> Alright, I'm moving on. Alright, I'm gone. <laughs>